Hi, welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today is part two in our pest control on the homestead series. Okay, so last week we kicked this series off and we talked about exclusion. We talked about how to keep the bugs that are on the outside. We, had, we talked about how to keep them outside. And if you missed that video, it's gonna be right in here. So this week, I wanna talk about what do you do when you end up bringing the roaches in? Now, don't thumbs me down and start throwing stuff at the screen talking about you don't voluntarily bring the roaches into your house because you're absolutely correct. You don't do it voluntarily, you do it unknowingly. And how you go about doing that is every time you buy a new appliance, you buy a box of cereal, you buy anything that has cardboard, anything. Roaches love cardboard because they can get in between the weaves and they can get in there and they can lay their eggs. And here's the thing, you might not physically ever see a roach, but there may be a roach egg in there. And that roach egg is impenetrable. I said it. <laughs> anyway, roach egg is impenetrable to the common pesticides. So all of the raids, the stuff that your pest control guys comes in and sprays, all that stuff does not have any effect on the roach egg. It's not like a chicken egg. It's not porous. It's solid. And so the only way really to kill the roach egg is to, to smash it with your thumb or a hammer or something. So with that being said, how, what are some things that you can do to protect your food and stuff and stop a roach explosion from happening in your home? Well, <clears throat> from after today's video, we're going to show you guys different uh, ways to repel different homemade baits and stuff that you can make and one of them believe it or not is actually better and more efficient than the commercial grade chemicals but before we get to that step we've got to talk about protecting your food and preventing the roaches from getting to your food because if you cannot do that then they're not gonna to go to your baits or to your repellents or, to, or anything like that. So the best thing to do is containers. Go out and invest in some containers. There, and there's all different kinds of containers. They've even got some for bread. And there's all these different kinds of containers that you can invest in. We put cereal in there, we put oats in there, we put our bread in there. When we harvest uh, peaches. We put the seeds in one until we're ready to, to work on uh, getting these seeds to Germany. And so you place all of your food that's in there. Take the cereal out of the cereal boxes, pour them into the to these containers. Get your grits, your flour, all that stuff into sealed containers. If you don't like the Tupperware types of containers, Invest in the half gallon gallon mason jars. Just get that food sealed. So one, the, the aroma is not there to attract the roaches to it. And two, they can't get to it to eat. That's the most important thing. Now, if you're like us and you save compost, take your old coffee cans. They seal. Put your compost in the coffee can and seal it during the day and make sure you take it out at night, every night. If you do this one simple step by putting your food and compost in containers, you'll increase the likelihood of your unwanted guests going to the homemade baits and repellents that we're gonna show you later on in this series. Well, that does it for today's video. Come back next week when we're going to start showing you different repellents that you can place around your house that is safe to be around your children and your pets. Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. God bless. And have a nice day. And then they hatch. 
Because see, here's the one thing about roach eggs that nobody will tell you. Pesticides, the roach egg is is impenetrable. Impenetra Here we go again. Mm -hmm.